Hello everyone, welcome to Jennifer Sewing and Crochet. For those of you that are first joining my channel, welcome. For those of you that are coming back from previous videos, welcome back. Um, I first want to start off by saying that um, I did have to take a little break. I, I needed a little break from creativity. Um, for those of you that uh, have seen my previous videos, you will know that the quilt block video series was several long videos and I just needed a little break after that. Um, while I was away, I did purchase a, a new camera lens for my camera and I hope it is a little bit better and you guys are able to see I bought a wide angle camera lens so hopefully I won't have to zoom in so close now and we can see a little bit better um, for those of you that have seen my previous videos please let me know if you can see if you see a difference um, we're going to go ahead and get right into it then um, we are going to do something different this is a ultra punch embroidery needle set. This is a trademarked name for this particular set. I believe this was the original ultra punch set. Um, I could be wrong on that, but this is a patented set. They do make others and I will get into those in just a moment. Um, you can buy this set on Etsy. I bought mine on Etsy in 2018. Um, I am not any way sponsored by Ultra Punch or the site that I bought it from on Etsy. I bought it from a site called Perfect Prim Punch. And she was amazing um, when I ordered when I ordered my set it was out and I believe shipped the next day and it arrived before I even before the even estimated arrival date so you might want to if if you're interested you might want to check out her site like I said I am not sponsored I'm just very impressed with the site um, I paid 20 21 for my set then I did buy an extra needle and I will get into the extra needle in a moment and the the extra needle was 429 okay and I will get into why I bought the extra needle in a moment then um, you can go to the actual website that that this set is from um, the the name brand website. It's ultrapunchneedle.com, and that is right here. So ultrapunchneedle.com. Um, you can also go to that site for replacement needles. Okay, or you can write to them. Another site that, that through my research, is Doodle Dog Primitive. They do sell the kits. I tried to see if they carried the extra fine needle. Um, they do have them, but they are currently sold out. Through my experience on researching, you may have trouble finding the ultra fine needle or the extra fine needle. Um, there is also a site called The Woolery, that is W-O-O-L-E-R-Y, and their set um, was right around $26, and your extra needle was around $6, I believe. Um, uh, like I said, I bought my set on Etsy, and there are other um, people on Etsy that carry it. Um, I believe Walmart may carry the one, the single needle set. 
um, you would have to look at your Walmart. I know my Walmart does. Uh, Joann's possibly may have it. They do not have it on the website when I did my search, but one, one of my Joann's in town does have one, and the other one further into town does not carry it. So you will have to kind of shop around if you if you want to buy it locally to wherever you are. Hobby Lobby, I did not find it on their website at all, and I could not find it in the store. It could be that it's sold out or they just don't sell it. Walmart and Hobby Lobby does sell this particular set. This was my first set. It's made by Boy and it is an adjustable length punch needle set. Um, you just unscrew like so. And this is your fine needle, which is a 1.26 millimeter. And this would be considered a, let me look in my notes. This would be considered for one strand of embroidery floss to two strands. So you would have to see which particular needle works best for you. And when you, when you thread it, make sure your, your thread um, moves through the needle smoothly. You don't want it, um, no tension on it or um, catching. Um, you do change your needles by screwing it out like I showed you. Okay, then you have a medium needle, which is a 1.6, like so. Then again, you have a large needle, which is a 2.2. And um, I believe this this one I used uh, number 10 crochet thread through it and it worked just fine. Um, when I bought this set, I was very disappointed with it. It's not because of the set itself. It is because I did not do my research if you are interested in getting into ultra or to, into punch needle embroidery, definitely do your research before you buy the set that you want. And the reason why I say that is these are sets for fine embroidery floss, like so, or thin crochet thread. These are not for yarn. They do make um, larger hook or larger needle sets that are in a, I believe it's a wooden style handle. And um, those are for yarn and you typically use those for um, creating rugs, wall hangings. Um, it's just, you can basically use it for anything, but they are made for yarn. And this set also does come with its needle threader. Okay, then there is a hook made by Yarnology. I believe I got this one either at Walmart or at Joann's and it was $2.99. It did come with, I, I might have even bought this one at um, Hobby Lobby. It does come with your two needle threaders, as you can see, but there is a con to this needle. It is a set depth needle. You cannot adjust the needle length. So when you're punching, your loop will be one size and one size only. Okay. Nothing's wrong with this needle. It's just that you can't adjust your, your loop size. And I will show you that in a previous video, what I mean by, by loop sizes. 
Okay, so let's get back to the Ultra Punch. Like I said, this is the trademarked name for this set. And this set does come with three different needles, two different springs. It comes with the needle pen itself, and the pen is in two pieces. Okay, and then it comes with two needle threaders. You do have to be careful with your needle threaders because the wire is very thin and it is easily breakable. Um, I have also lost mine inside my couch and had to search for it. I, I got really lucky and it didn't fall down inside the, the side of the couch where I wouldn't been able to get it. So be very careful with your needle threaders. Just a little tip there for you. Um, so, like I said, this comes with three needles. You have a large needle, and the large needle is a 2.2 milli millimeter needle, and it is for six strands of embroidery floss, or you can use a number 10 size crochet thread. Okay, so this would be your six strands of embroidery floss there. Okay. Then it comes with a medium size needle. And it also does show you right here, there will be a little circle with either whatever size the needle is for large, medium, or small. And it has the little letter there. One side has an arrow and one size has the needle size. Then it also comes with your small needle. Oh, sorry. Your medium needle is a 1.6 millimeter also and it is typically used with three strands of the embroidery floss. Then the small needle is a 1.2 millimeter which is for two strands of floss. Then it also comes with two springs. Your larger spring is for your, your medium and large needle. Then your smaller spring is for your small needle. And then if you purchase separately an extra fine needle. I bought my my needle separate, and like I said, I believe it was four a little over a little over four dollars. Okay, and the ultra fine needle is is one to two strands of floss. Okay. Now in the hook, or I'm sorry, in the springs, you will notice that the ends look very different. You have a wide opening, and that is for your, I said, like your large and your medium. And then your small spring has a really small hole at the end. And that is for your small needle to go right through that little hole, like so. Okay, you can see that there. And you want to be sure that you also do not lose your, your springs because that is one of the main important things for the needle to work correctly. I will show you how to put the needle on your pen. You just take out the inner portion, it will have a little arrow right here at the tip, and on the other side, it has like the little circle. So what you want to do with your needle, you see that it has your little arrow, so line it up with the arrow on your inner pen portion, 
and you will see that it has like a little kind of a keyhole. So make sure your arrow lines up with the arrow. And some of your some of your needles will be tight when you put them in there. And that's even better, in my opinion, because it fits nicely. So push it inside so your arrows line up and then turn it and that locks your needle in place okay um, in the direction booklet it does say I believe it said just to drop your spring into the the portion um, what I like to do is I like to place it over the top of the needle and make sure it goes in because it's easier to place your pen down over the top and that didn't work. So that shows that I was wrong. Well that part that time it did. So if you just drop your needle inside like so and you try to put your your hook in you're going to be like um, see sometimes it doesn't go in and you don't want to mess it up so you either have to be real cautious putting it in and sometimes you have to play with it to get it in we'll see now this one won't go in so this is where I like doing that you place the needle place the spring over the needle and make sure it's the very little tip is through that little hole okay like so and then I like to take it and place it over the top. And you slide it through your little groove so it's it's locked in place. Okay? Then what you want to do is you will then thread your needle. And um, in the next video, I will show you how to do that. Um, I'm really excited uh, to show you all how to needle punch. Uh, I am expecting it to be a maybe a three or a four part series. So please stick around. Um, please give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, like and subscribe if you wish. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.